So hi everyone, Cursor.ai is making quite some buzz in the technology market where people are stating that it is almost as same as a software engineer when combined with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. But in this case, we won't be using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, we would be using the default Cursor Small and try to build a streamlit dashboard for analyzing Titanic dataset within minutes. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to comment out what you wish to build out. Build a simple app to analyze the Titanic dataset. Looks fine. So now once I have come, uh, like taken up the suggestion for the comment, I can see more prompts coming in. How to load, giving a title and load the dataset. So I will again take that. So for taking the suggestion, you just need to press tab. Now once done, display the dataset. It is auto prompting this to me. I'm not doing anything. ST dot data frame, ST dot write, and ST dot write. So this is nice because as you can see here, it is giving you first displaying the data. Now I would wish to display just the head. So that's the important part. There are minor issues that you might face in the code, but still fine. It is writing the summary of the data set and column names also. Now, what should we do? Survival rate by class. Okay, looks fine to me because survival rate is the major column if you remember in Titanic. What else should we analyze? It is auto prompting me most of the comments if to be honest. Survival rate by sex. Okay, so I will take this as well and survival rate by age also it is taking up. It is also giving an auto prompt for most common embarkation. Giving in the mod for that. Average fare. Okay. It is printing the correlation matrix also and survival rate also. Now it is displaying all the results. Whatever it has calculated above. So this is nice as you can see. It is auto prompting. I haven't written a single piece of code by now. And now it is providing a bar chart also for survival by class, sex, age. So these are all the things that cursor.a is doing on its own. I am not doing a single thing here. Now once done, these are the major things that we did. Uh, I hope this should be fine for demonstration purpose. If you wish, anywhere you feel that I want to add something more, you can just uh, put your cursor there, press an enter and then you will get some suggestion or you can add something. So here you can see that it is providing me again a prompt for survival rate by class. If you want to add something else, you can add it here. It will give you an auto prompt. Once you are done, I haven't written a single line of code uh, to be honest till now. Just commenting out stuff. Now let's, let's try to launch this particular application and see what we get. Python minus m streamlit run app.py so I think it took, hardly took us two minutes to completely write this streamlit app and you can still further improve it. You can still add more features. The more comments, the more prompt you provide, the more helpful it becomes cursor for getting started for you. So now you can see the dashboard is up for us. You can see different columns that we printed out are coming on. It's not looking that great, but you can any day improve it. It is giving us a survival rate by class, survival rate by age average by class, different plots that we asked for it. You can change all the things. It is just a demonstration. That is why I didn't decorate it. But here you can see that how quickly we build a dashboard out of nowhere without writing a single piece of code using cursor and that too using the free version, free LLMs. If you would use a model like a Claude 3.5, it will just blow you off. So I would suggest you to try it out and let me know how you feel about cursor. Thank you.